Hello everyone, welcome to our YouTube channel. In this video, we will guide you through the process how to fix Steam Deck stuck on checking for available update. Okay, so why we are going to discuss by each step. First of all, reboot Steam Deck in battery storage mode. Shut down from the power menu. Hold the volume plus button down and press the power button once. Continue holding the volume plus button until you hear the system chime. Then release the weight. And the Steam Deck will boot into the BIOS menu within a couple of minutes using the d-pad it to select navigate to setup utility okay and navigate to the power menu and choose battery storage mode then steam deck will power off and the power led will blink three times to confirm the battery storage mode then wait a few minutes then plug the steam deck into the power the white power supply and turn it on then install steam os with the restore image download the steam deck image official website go to steam official website and download steam official from the this website go to this website like steam this website and here you can go and download the new store new version of this steam okay whatever kind of system you have supported from you can download from here and prepare a boot bootable usb driver using to like refuse window or boolean feature or mac os system power on the steam deck and hold the volume down button while pressing the power button until you hear the chime release the volume down button in the boot manager select efi usb device to boot from the usb drive this may take few minutes okay And connect your Steam Deck to non Ethernet network. Connect your Steam Deck to see someone else hotspot or different Wi Fi network. Power on the device and let it attempt to update. The system deck should be booted into Steam OS after verifying update. Okay. Skipping the update installation. Once the boot, you can disconnect from the temporary hotspot. And factory set of Steam Deck. Turn on the Steam Deck in a gaming mode. Press the Steam button and select setting. Then go to system. Under the advanced, choose the reset to factory state. Click factory reset to confirm. Okay. So this is the all step. Thanks, guys.